All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So uh, today we're going to be checking out a uh, MRE Star. I've got a few of these still left. Uh, this one's going to be menu number seven, pasta with marinara sauce and veggie crumbles. So so far, out of this case that we bought, have not found one good one. These have all been bad, and I'm just wondering if maybe it's the way that they package their their stuff because it's been absolutely horrible but still kind of cool to check it out and see what's inside and, and whatnot so let's go ahead and see what we got here a lot of stuff in here all right I don't think that we ever did we ever agree on a date on this I don't think so so this one pasta and marinara sauce with veggie crumbles on one side and then on the other side is in Spanish um, packed for MRE star so I wonder who packed them I don't think we saw uh, this just opens up like a folded box. I don't remember that last time. Uh, okay, so the deal is well, let's check out the rest of this real quick. So we got a powder drink mix, orange flavored with vi orange flavored vitamin C added. 12 ounces of water in that one. And I'm pretty sure that's not good. And then there's these funky heaters. We're not going to use it. Uh, we've only gotten one of them to work. But yeah, those are uh, not good at all. Uh, we got some sugar cookies here, which is seems to be standard in those. Uh, we got some nut raisin mix. And we got some dried fruits. So let me uh I get some hot water for this. So there's I'm not gonna use that other one. Let's check out the accessory kit here. Yeah, it was totally disappointing. Like I bought a whole case of these and the guy told me they were recent and they're not recent at all. I do like the spoon though. I like their spoons for these. They're really nice and rigid. Big spoon base on there, deep. It's a good soup spoon. Non dairy creamer. Yeah, he told me they were like fresh. They were fresh, and now nah, they weren't fresh. I wasn't gonna go through the whole uh, uh, return. Figured we can just look at them on the channel. Salt and pepper. Lemon scented moist toilet. And you can tell how. I mean that. The freaking the napkin turned yellow. So that's a pretty good clue of how old this is. So there's no there's nothing on here. There are some numbers on here, but Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Anyway guys, let's uh let's get this all on tray out. Alright, so we got some hot water here. <clears throat> now I'm going to tell you, uh, for some reason, these um, retort pouches from this company, MRE Star, these actually scare me more than some of the ones we do from the 80s. And the reason why is just because I, they're not, something's going on with the way that they're I mean, this isn't, you know, they're just packaging stuff in regular packages, and then they're not even putting in an oxygen absorber in there. So the, the shelf life on these has got to be pretty bad. So, let's go ahead and check that out. This just smells like... 
I think basically I can smell just banana chips on that. Let's see this one here. Nut raisin mix. Uh, it doesn't smell half bad. Look at those raisins. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, they're not they're not doing so hot. See that? Let's check out these uh Just uh, easier to open these with scissors so that they don't, because, like, look, these are all broken and they just don't go flying everywhere. Yesterday's ration was pretty bad. I was getting it all over the workbench. Oh my god, th that's just horrible. Like, literally, just smells like chemicals and cardboard. Like, not a lie. Oh. I don't even know if this ration was good when it was like in its prime. To be honest. So I got some warm water and the reason well it's not warm anymore. It's, it was warm. It's because this stuff is probably not gonna be in that good of shape. Let's check it out. Yeah, see? So it's it's got moisture damage. Or heat. Probably just heat damage. <sighs> Whew. They're probably just sitting in somebody's garage somewhere. Arizona. Baking in the sun. Because I do know the MRE stars. It's basically, it's a it's another, you know, disaster type ration. But they say that they're for the military civilian... An emergency preparedness, but I don't think the military uses these. I doubt it. Mostly for like FEMA and stuff like that. Usually I use cold water on these guys, but I oh, see the warm water kind of seemed to have broken it up a little bit. Now oh, maybe we'll get lucky. We'll get something good out of it. Yeah, it seemed to uh, clean this spoon off. Let's check it out. Ah, uh, the drink doesn't taste too bad. Use a little bit of warm water and reconstitute it. How much water did that say to use? I'm curious to see. I didn't read it. I just... Twelve ounces of water. Okay. And the reason why I asked is that's a little watered down, so I was kind of just wondering what's going on there. Ooh. You hear that? Yeah, we already know what that is. Now for being a not a, you know, because we've seen like the 30 year old rations do this, but I would say this is just major heat, heat damage. Look at that. I don't want to get this all over the place, so I'm just trying to see that. Yeah, you know, it's funny though, is it still smells good. Like it actually smells like really strong coffee. And it does say deep rich, by the way, but. There's that, there's that date again, just like on the other one. I don't know. 
to be honest. I'm, I couldn't even begin to guess on the date on this. Like, what would make coffee literally melt like that? That's extreme heat. I don't know the coffee could melt. <sighs> well, this is pretty hot. We should go ahead and see what we got here. I'm going to be very careful with this because of the, the heat damage that we've seen everywhere else. Although it doesn't smell, it actually doesn't smell too bad. I'm curious, to, I don't remember if it said there was any meat in here. Um, no, this is going to be with veggie crumbles. So it's vegetarian. That looks pretty good. But I'm going to be honest with you, we're just going to, see that tastes fine, but tastes really good. That's so funny too because they try to make the vegetable, the veggie crumbles look like actual meat. Like here's a good example. That's like imitation meat from veggie crumbles. <laughs> all in all, it really doesn't taste bad. But I'm, I'm sorry. I know there's some of you out there that, you know, would say otherwise. But I'm not eating this. Oh, there's a nice piece of mushroom in there. Drink's not bad. Now, I'm not going to eat those cookies because I already know what's going on there. Let's try a, try a banana. Bananas are edible. I'm not trying the fruit, though. These are not edible. No. Neither are these. Try a raisin. <laughs> it's like a tortured taste test here. Peanut. The peanuts taste like peanuts, but they just taste really old. Kind of like sawdust, you know what I mean? You know what's interesting, though, is that this ration came with a drink, and a lot of the uh, FEMA rations don't come with drinks, which is kind of strange. All in all, it would have been a great ration. But it's just... Uh, it's been really severely heat damaged, like really bad. I'll check out this uh, creamer and see if it, how it held up. Huh? It's not. It's not yellow. It's definitely not in a creamer form anymore. <laughs> yeah, it uh, it definitely isn't uh, in its prime, that's for sure. Salt and pepper and the sugar, 
Hold up. Check out this uh, moist, moist wipe. Oh, well, that, just that just happened. Well, this thing's pretty damp. Yeah, not bad. Well, it smells pretty good too. Might as well go ahead and use it. Hey, so if you like this kind of content, you're new to the channel, welcome. I appreciate you showing it, hanging out, showing up, checking us out. Um, go ahead and, uh, if you could, subscribe to the channel. And if you're returning, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate everybody on the channel. And so uh, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Until next time, have a good one.